Um, I was asked to do it by uh, the production company, Pulse Films, uh, and then my producer, uh, producer friend of mine, Mia Bays, joined the team and really just convinced me to do it. I mean, it was like work for hire that I turned down once, and I kind of had to be convinced, uh, but I'm really glad I, uh, I took it on. Uh, it was a great creative team, and when you met the, and I met the boys and heard about what they wanted to do with the film, uh, it was creatively really exciting. I mean, they were in this real underdog space. It was kind of like a nothing left to lose, and they just wanted to be open and raw and really let us do our thing uh, as filmmakers, and they didn't really want to intrude too much. So it was a really a great creative opportunity. Um, I took away that Kevin cries when the wind blows, um, and that they were just in a really honest and vulnerable place. I mean, those hometown trips really broke them down. I mean, that was the first time I had shot with them. So I was just getting to know them on that trip. So I had no real preconceived notions about who they were or what boundaries there were. Um, the emotional trauma or catharsis that they went through in a way, it was engaging and exciting to me. So it really kind of stimulated me on my filmmaking to know that we could kind of go there with these guys. And um, it was exciting. I was having the time, I loved it. That was one of the best shoots we've ever done. Um, I, I've got to say uh, the mountains in Kentucky. Uh, the hike is, was the last thing we shot. That was Kevin's hometown. It was the last day of the hometown trip. And we were fighting the light, and we didn't think we'd make it. And he's like, no, we got to hike this hill. Everyone's coming. No complaints. And um, it was beautiful. It was amazing. And you f it felt like a special moment. Like, when we did it, I just I felt like we had the movie. Like, that moment, to me, I was like, if I'd had doubts that we were making something worthwhile, it sort of came together in that on that day. Um, I hope they sing along, they cry, they scream. Um, but I, what I really want is, I want people to reevaluate them, kind of like I did. You know, not being a fan, uh, I wanted to make something that would create a lot of empathy in the viewer, and that you would actually just really come to like these guys, regardless of the fact that you might not like the music. Uh, it's just a really good story. And they're all such amazing and interesting personalities that the blend is, is really uh, quite unique.